Are you ready for the 2024 crypto tax season? It's a question that you may not have considered yet, but it's one that carries significant weight. We live in an era where cryptocurrencies are not just digital assets, they're part of our financial reality. As such, they're subject to taxation, just like any other form of income. Ignoring your crypto tax responsibilities can lead to serious consequences, including hefty fines and potential legal issues. But fear not because we're here to guide you through this complex landscape, step by step. The crypto tax season doesn't have to be a time of stress and uncertainty. With the right preparation, it can be a straightforward process. This video will provide you with the necessary tools and insights to navigate your way through crypto tax preparation, ensuring you're fully compliant and confident when tax time rolls around. Now let's dive into the first step of your crypto tax preparation. The first step is understanding your crypto activities. In the ever-evolving world of cryptocurrency, it's not just buying and selling that can impact your tax obligations. A variety of activities can potentially generate a taxable event. So let's break it down. Firstly, buying cryptocurrency. If you're simply purchasing crypto with fiat currency like dollars or euros, there's no immediate tax implication. But remember, when you sell that crypto later, any gain you make is taxable. Next, selling cryptocurrency. This is where things get interesting. When you sell your crypto, the difference between the selling price and your original purchase price, known as the cost basis, is what's taxable. This could be a capital gain or a capital loss. Trading one cryptocurrency for another is another taxable event. The Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, views this as selling one asset and buying another, even though you might see it as a simple swap. The gain or loss on the crypto you sell in a trade is taxable. Mining cryptocurrency is also a taxable event. The IRS considers mined cryptocurrency as income, taxable at its fair market value on the day you receive it. And when you sell the mined crypto, it's subject to capital gains tax. Earning interest from crypto, whether through staking, lending, or DeFi protocols, is another taxable event. The interest earned is considered income and is taxable. It's also important to note that any tokens you receive as a reward or bonus are also taxable. And finally, receiving cryptocurrency as a gift or an inheritance. The IRS has different rules for each of these scenarios, but in general, you could be liable for taxes when you eventually sell the crypto. The key takeaway here is that keeping track of all these activities is vital. Each one has different tax implications, and understanding them is the first step towards accurate and compliant crypto tax reporting. Once you've understood your crypto activities, it's time to move on to the next step, recording your transactions. The next step is recording your transactions. This pivotal part of your crypto tax preparation journey cannot be overstated. Making sure you have a clear and thorough record of all your transactions is the bedrock upon which your tax calculations are built. Think of it this way. Every time you buy, sell, trade, or even gift a cryptocurrency, it's like a piece of a puzzle. Each piece is unique and important, and without it, you won't be able to see the complete picture, or in this case, the accurate financial landscape of your crypto holdings. Now you might be wondering, how exactly do I record my transactions? Well, there are two main ways to go about it. The first one is the traditional manual method. This involves keeping a detailed log of all your transactions, including the date, the type of crypto, the quantity, and the price in US dollars at the time of the transaction. Yes, it can be time consuming, but it's a surefire way to keep track of everything. However, in this digital age, you have the option to leverage technology to make your life easier. There are numerous automated software tools available that can help you record your transactions. These tools connect directly to your crypto wallets and exchanges and automatically pull all transaction data. They can save you a ton of time and effort and reduce the risk of human error. Regardless of the method you choose, the key is consistency. Make it a habit to record your transactions as soon as they happen. This way, you won't have to scramble at the end of the year trying to piece together the puzzle. Remember, good records not only help you accurately calculate your gains or losses, but they also provide essential documentation if the IRS ever questions your tax return. So it's not just about being organized, it's about being prepared and protected. Now that you have your transactions recorded, it's time to calculate your gains or losses. You can't escape it. You need to calculate your gains or losses. This is a vital part of your crypto tax preparation, and it's not as daunting as it may sound. When we talk about gains and losses in the world of cryptocurrency, we're essentially referring to the difference between what you paid for your crypto 
known as the cost basis, and what you sold it for. Let's say you bought one Bitcoin for $1,000. This is your cost basis. If you later sell that Bitcoin for $2,000, you've made a gain of $1,000. Conversely, if you sell it for only $500, you've incurred a loss of $500. This is the basic principle of calculating gains and losses. Now, it's important to note that the tax implications of these gains and losses depend on how long you held on to your crypto. The distinction here is between short-term and long-term gains or losses. Short-term gains or losses come from selling crypto that you've held for less than a year. These are taxed at your regular income tax rate. On the other hand, long-term gains or losses are from selling crypto that you've held for more than a year. These are taxed at a lower rate, generally ranging from 0 to 20%, depending on your income bracket. This is why some investors choose to hold on to their crypto for at least a year before selling. One more thing to keep in mind is that you can offset your gains with your losses. This is called netting. For example, if you made $2,000 in gains but also had $1,000 in losses, you would only need to pay taxes on the net gain of $1,000. Calculating your gains and losses is a crucial step in your crypto tax preparation. It's the key to understanding how much you owe in taxes, or in some cases, how much you can deduct. With your gains and losses calculated, the next step is to understand how to report these on your tax return. Reporting crypto on your tax return is a crucial step. As we navigate the new frontier of cryptocurrency, it's essential we understand how to report our crypto transactions properly. So let's break it down. Firstly, you need to know which tax forms to use. The Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, has made it clear that digital currencies are treated as property for tax purposes. This means you'll be using Form 8949 and Schedule D. Form 8949 is where you detail each of your crypto transactions. And don't worry, you're not alone in this. Every time you bought, sold, traded, or mined crypto, it goes on this form. Once you've filled out Form 8949, you'll transfer the information over to Schedule D. This is where you'll calculate your total capital gains or losses. Now, you might be thinking, what if I just held on to my crypto? I didn't sell or trade anything. Well, in that case, you won't have any capital gains or losses to report for those holdings. But remember, if you've received any crypto as income, perhaps through mining or as payment for goods or services, that needs to be reported on Schedule 1 under additional income. And here's a little pro tip. Keep meticulous records. The IRS requires a detailed record of every single transaction. This includes the date you acquired the crypto, the date you sold or traded it, your cost basis, and your gain or loss. Trust me, detailed records will make your life so much easier come tax season. We also have to touch on the topic of forks and airdrops. If you've received new crypto through a hard fork or an airdrop, that's considered taxable income too you'll need to report the fair market value of the new crypto as of the date you gained control over it. Now that you know how to report your crypto activities, let's talk about how to pay your crypto tax. Paying your crypto tax is the final step. It's the moment you've been working towards, ensuring all your ducks are in a row and you're ready to fulfill your fiscal responsibilities. But how exactly do you go about it? There are multiple ways to pay your crypto taxes and the best method depends on your personal circumstances and preferences. The most traditional method is through a bank transfer. This involves directly transferring funds from your bank account to the tax authority. It's straightforward, secure, and typically doesn't involve any additional fees. Another popular method is using a credit card. While this method might incur some processing fees, it's a handy option if you want to spread the cost over a period of time. Remember though, interest rates can add up, so be sure to factor this into your calculations. But what if you're a true crypto enthusiast and you'd like to pay your taxes in the same way that you earn your income? Some jurisdictions are beginning to accept tax payments in cryptocurrency. This is a rapidly evolving area, so it's essential to check with your local tax authority to see if this option is available to you. Now, let's talk about penalties. If you miss the deadline for paying your crypto tax, you could face a late payment penalty. The exact amount varies but it can be a percentage of the tax owed and can increase the longer the payment is overdue. To avoid the stress and potential financial hit of late penalties, it's crucial to stay organized, keep track of key dates, and ensure you have the necessary funds available when the payment is due. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to preparing for the 2024 crypto tax season. Remember, tax laws and regulations can change quickly, 
especially in the fast-paced world of cryptocurrency. So it's always a good idea to seek advice from a tax professional who understands the nuances of crypto taxation. Together, you can navigate the complexities and ensure you're paying your fair share. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We dove deep into the world of crypto taxation, breaking down some of the essential steps you need to take to prepare for the 2024 tax season. First, we discussed the importance of understanding your crypto activities. Remember, the way you use your cryptocurrency, whether it's for buying goods, trading, or mining, has different tax implications. It's crucial to know the nature of your activities to accurately report your taxes. Next, we looked at the need for recording your transactions. In the ever-changing world of cryptocurrency, keeping a detailed record of each transaction is paramount. This includes the date, the amount, the value in your local currency at the time of the transaction, and any fees incurred. This information will be your lifeline when it comes time to file your taxes. We also talked about calculating your gains and losses. You'll need to apply the correct tax laws and regulations, which can be complex. Remember, every trade or sale of cryptocurrency is a taxable event, and it's your responsibility to calculate the gain or loss for each. Then, we walked you through the process of reporting crypto on your tax return. Depending on your jurisdiction, you might need to fill out specific forms or report your crypto income in a particular way. Make sure to do your research or consult with a tax professional to ensure you're complying with all the necessary regulations. Finally, we covered the last step, paying your crypto tax. Depending on your gains or losses, you might owe money to the tax authorities or you might be entitled to a refund. Either way, it's crucial to understand your obligations and to pay any taxes due promptly. Remember, preparing for the crypto tax season is essential to avoid any potential penalties. Start early, keep track of your activities, and don't hesitate to seek professional help if needed. Until next time, stay savvy with your crypto investments.